Congress Member of Parliament Rahul Gandhi today said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi waived off 16 lakh crore loan of India's biggest billionaires, an amount equivalent to 24 years of Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act Fund. He added that Prime Minister Modi didn't waive off farmers or small shopkeepers' loan. Rahul Gandhi claimed 22 people have been met billionaires under Prime Minister Modi's rule. They have as much money as 70 crore people combined. As Union Home Minister Amit Shah prepares to lead the state's Lok Sabha election campaign, political intensity in Assam is expected to intensify. His schedule is full of meetings and rallies meant to support the chances of Bharatiya Janata Party BJP candidates in different constituencies. Shah is scheduled to attend a campaign gathering for Dibrugar state candidate and Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways Sarbananda Sonwal as soon as he arrives in the state. The Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC, has raised concern over what it perceives as violation of the Election Model Court of Conduct MCC, in recent government recruitment notifications issued by various departments in the state. In a letter addressed to the Chief Electoral Officer of Manipur, K. Megachandra, President of MPCC, highlighted several notifications issued by different government departments for the recruitment of various posts. This notification, Mr. Megachandra alleges, were issued despite the existence of the MCC, which was put in place in connection with the ongoing 18 Lok Sabha elections 2024. Sikkim Democratic Front Chief Pawan Chamling was allegedly attacked en route to the meeting by Sikkim Krantikari Morcha as scam supporters sent by Krishna Gole. After carrying out puja at Namchi Bazaar, Pawan Chamling was en route to the meeting to be held at Kishan Market today. On the way, hundreds of SKM supporters stopped Sri Pawan Chamling and physically tried to assault him and suffocate him. He was pushed by hundreds of SKM supporters who tried to attack him in broad daylight. They surrounded Sri Pawan Chamling and suffocated him for a long time with police and onlookers helpless, reads a press release by SDF. Our natural Pradesh political landscape came alive as Chief Minister Pema Khandu, spearheaded by the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP election campaign in the Eastern Belt, commencing from Pasigat. The campaign rally witnessed the enthusiastic participation of thousands of citizens of Pasigat, smart city, congregating to hear the Chief Minister's address. Accompanied by Member of Parliament Tapir Gao, Chief Minister Pema Khandu fervently advocated for Pasi Ghat East MLA, Kaling Moyong and BJP candidate Ninong Ering contesting for the Pasi Ghat West MLA seat. Moldavian politician Mariam Shuna, who was suspended as a minister from Mohammed Muizi government for mocking Prime Minister Narendra Modi and India, which led to diplomatic tension between the two nations, has issued a new apology for a recent post that allegedly disrespected the Indian tricolour. The Basketball Association of Sikkim BAS, has achieved provisional affiliation with the Basketball Federation of India BFI, after nearly a decade-long struggle. This landmark achievement paves the way for Sikkim's basketball talents to be on the national stage, marking a significant milestone in the state's sporting history. With this welcome breakthrough, the inaugural boys and girls team from Sikkim are poised to make the historic debut in the Indian Youth National Championship, slated to unfold from April 9th to April 15, 2024 at the prestigious Rajiv Gandhi Stadium in Puducherry.